back to my film and TV channel and our regular look at what's on UK Freeview TV. And I'll tell you now, it's an interesting week, this. I'm not saying it's interesting you know, always in a good way, but uh, there's certainly a big eclectic mix of stuff this week, and I don't often say that when I'm going through this, but uh, very unusual, very unusual week. So we're having a look at the 1st to the 7th of April in the company of TV Choice this week. So we'll have a look at what's on. Please, if you are new to the channel, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Yeah, everything film and TV, of course. Reviews, information, blogs like this. Uh, there's a streaming one as well that looks what's coming on streaming at the cinema, so check that out if you get a chance. And, of course, if you are pushing those buttons, if you can push the little like button, the little thumbs-up button, be much appreciated. I'm trying to get about 15 likes. It's not a big target, but if you can help me towards it, I would be very, very grateful. Right, let's get on with it. Shall we, shall we start? This is uh, obviously uh, first f April Fool's Day to uh, Good Friday, so a nice eclectic mix of uh, days as well, of course. But as I say, well, uh, interesting, interesting mix this week. Right, let's start with Saturday. Let's start at the beginning. Saturday, April Fool's Day, 9.50, The Magpie Murders. No, we're not shooting down birds. This is Anthony Horowitz's adaptation of his novel, publishing editor Susan Ryland, Les played by Leslie Manville, working with the best-selling crime writer Alan Conway, played by Colneth Hill, for years, but she's drawn into a real-life mystery of her own when a crucial chapter of his latest manuscripts goes missing. If that's not bad enough, before the author himself turns up dead. So there you go, The Magpie Murders, a new series. I'll be doing a review of that, uh, no doubt. I'm not sure if it's um, all going to be available on iPlayer, but uh, we'll have a look at that one anyway. On to Sunday, say a quiet Saturday, but it does get busier. On to Sunday, the 2nd of April, 9 o'clock, BBC Two, Simon Reeves' return to Cornwall. This is a one-off as the cost of living crisis bites. It certainly does. Simon returns to Cornwall to find out what life's like for locals after the summer crowds have gone. Oh, bless us. At least they've got something nice to look at. You're not like living in Manchester looking at the miserableness out there, that's for sure. Staying with Sunday the 2nd of April, ITV1, 10.15, the Olivia Awards. So if you like your... If you like your Awards ceremony. This is, of course, is the Star Studded Awards event honouring the best in British theatre. Presenter from the Royal Albert Hall by Ted Lasso star Hannah Waddington. There you go. So, if you like your award shows, not my sort of thing, to be honest with you. I don't mind seeing who's won what, but uh, yeah, not watching it. It's a little bit boring for me. Staying with the 2nd of April, Sunday the 2nd of April, BBC4. Yes, an interesting one. An interest, this is one of the first eclectic things we've got. Uh, a Vision of Loveliness, The Read. A creative performance based on the book A Vision of Loveliness by Louise Levine. So there you go. Not my sort of thing, but a bit of culture for you if you want to watch that. On to Monday the 3rd of April. 4.30 on BBC One, a new quiz show, a general knowledge quiz hosted by Jason Manford. This is called Unbeatable, in which four contestants compete to find the unbeatable answer and streak ahead of the rest to win a cash prize. I don't know how much it is, BBC, probably a fiver and a fiver and a free meal at, uh, at Nando's or something like that. Over to BBC Two, nine o'clock, Secrets of the Chippendales Murders. Yes, it's one of four and two of four, both showing one after another. We've got one, the perfect man charting the dark side of the 1980s all-male stripping troupe, masterminded by Indian entrepreneur Steve Banerjee. So, interesting. interesting. I've not seen the magic, new Magic Mike yet. I'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Staying on the 3rd of April, uh, not snakes on a plane. We've got strangers on a plane. Now, this is, <laughs> this is strange. 5.30, Channel 4. One of 20, 20 episodes, five Brits compete to prove they can plan a holiday better than anyone else. Yeah, edge of the seat stuff there by the looks of it. Channel 5, 9 o'clock, motorway cops is back, if you like that. Catching Britain's speedsters. The cameras rejoin Cheshire Police's elite team of officers. That's one of 10. So we've got 10 episodes of that coming up. Over to ITVB, a new series of Extreme Makeover, if you like that, home edition, Firefighter, rising from the ashes, transforming the home of Firefighter Nick. Oh, bless. Grand job. And over to Tuesday. Now, Tuesday the 4th of April, 10.40, BBC One, Rain Dogs. One of eight, this is. It's hard to be a saint in the city. A comedy drama starring Daisy May Cooper as Mum Costello, who's doing her best to escape poverty and raise her daughter. Might be interesting. I'll do a review of that if it's worth it. On to BBC Two, eight o'clock. Inside the factory, Greg Wallace finds out how Jaffa cakes... Hmm. 
I made on a visit to the Manchester factory where McVitie's churn out 1.4 billion of them every year. The old McVitie's factory, yes, my my sister, many, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, used to work at McVitie's, used to bring home a big brown box of broken biscuits. I think I put on about a stone in, in a few months uh, when she did that. But uh, yeah, fortunately, she, she left and went somewhere else. So it say, saved me weight at the time. Nine o'clock, Highland Cops is on BBC Two, one of six, a documentary about police Scotland Highlands and Islands Division, revealing what it takes to patrol in one of the most beautiful and challenging places in Britain. Yeah, interesting. That, that might be near the Loch Ness Monster. I'm not too sure. Over on ITV1, the 4th of April, Long Lost Family, What Happened Next? So if you like, get your old hankies out if you like this sort of thing. One of three, Davina McCall and Nikki Campbell revisit some of the programmes most extraordinary searches, of course. On Channel 4, an interesting one. This is another eclectic thing. 8 o'clock, Channel 4, Naked Education, one of six, Yinka Bikini, that's a good name, that's a good name, isn't it? I like that, Yinka Bikini, I assume it's pronounced like that, not spelt like bikini, it's spelt B-O-K-I-N-I, but uh, Anna Richardson and Dr Alex George host a body positive educational series aimed to normalise all body types and break down stereotypes. There's something else to do with nakedness in a moment as well, it's a little bit more quirky. On to ITV2, 9 o'clock, new series. This is the 4th of April, Tuesday still. Hell's Kitchen's back. Yeah, I used to quite... I like Gordon Ramsay. I don't tend to watch this, in fairness. Let the battle begin. Chef Gordon Ramsay welcomes eight new hopefuls to the competition. Over to BBC3. Are we getting a bit of culture? No, we're getting more of The Apprentice. Yes, it only finished last week. I won't be doing a special on this one, though, because it's The Australian Apprentice. And it is Alan Sugar. Yeah, Alan Sugar's doing it. Old Lord Sugar. So uh, The Apprentice Australia, Alan Sugar heads down under to meet the 16 celebrities. Celebrities this time, not, not uh, ordinary guys competing for charity. Celebrities are split into two teams to host a fundraising golf tournament. I wonder who the celebrities are. If they're Australian, they might not be too well known to us down here. Up here, if they're down under. Uh, Channel 4, Wednesday, 5th of April, 12.05. So we're really into Thursday, in fairness. Uh, but, you know, there we go. 12.05 a.m. on Wednesday into Thursday. We've got Untold Trapped in a Gang. A look at the rising levels of knife and gun crime in the West Midlands. Gritty. Stay with Wednesday, Channel 5, 9 o'clock, inside HMP Whitemore. So you've gone from stabbing the knives to evil behind bars. Yes, this is a documentary examining the duck Category A prison in Cambridgeshire. So we like your reality preview. Uh, Prison shows, etc. That's for you. Nine o'clock, Freeview on Wednesday, the 5th of April, Freeview ITV4. You've got a new series of Robson and Jim's Fly Fishing Adventure. The River Tower, the River Tower and Abbasock, Robson Green and Jim Murray are in Wales. Not as good as the other two guys I like watching. Uh, BBC3, nine o'clock on the Wednesday, a very British cult. Catherine Nye and her team expose control, intimidation and fear. A mysterious life coaching company that takes over people's lives and rips families apart. Very interesting. Stay with Wednesday the 5th of April. On Quest Red, a new series, 11 o'clock p.m., Calls from the Inside. This is it. The COVID killer. The mystery surrounding Gretchen Anthony's disappearance. There you go. I have no idea, but sounds sounds interesting. Sounds quaint. Anyway, PBS America. How about that on Freeview? PBS America. A new series, 7.30, The Ottoman Empire. One of three. I used to like these sort of docudrama things. A Dreams of the Empire, The Rise of the Turkish Empire. And it continues on Thursday. Let's go on to Thursday. Let's see what we've got. Thursday, the 6th of April, 8 o'clock, BBC Two, Reunion Hotel, one of six. Alex Jones gives people a chance to be reunited with someone pivotable, pivotable, pivotal from their past, beginning with 21-year-old Tegan, whose life was saved by a stranger after she fell onto a tube track. There you go, Reunion Hotel. We've not had that before, that's for sure. I'll stay in with the 6th of April on Thursday. On Dave, if you like the Richardsons, well, meet the Richardsons. Uh, there's a new series, one of ten. John has a midlife crisis. He's 40th birthday, Liam. He, he does it. I like John Richardson, but he's bloody annoying. I don't know how his wife puts up with him. 9 o'clock, E4, a new series of Naked alone and racing to get home. There you go. I told you there'd be some more nakedness, didn't I? Deadman's Gore.
Forge. Nude strangers, <laughs> not with strangers for long, nude strangers race across the UK countryside to win a cash prize. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna want. I mean, I, I, I might just record it. I'll see. I'll see for nine o'clock just to see, just to see. Scary, isn't it, guys? Uh, nine o'clock more for a new series, a, a bit more normal, I suppose. The Doghouse Australia, yes, life at Animal Welfare League, NS New South Wales Dog Sanctuary, where people come in search of a canine soulmate. Of course, they do. Staying with Thursday, the sixth of April. I've not got over the new uh, the new strange. Just running across country at nine o'clock. Five action. There you go. Is a, is a new new channel we've not done before. Five action. Thursday, sixth of April, nine p.m. Trucking heavy, hardcore haulier. I don't know what that is. Uh, is a, Ian is assigned to shift a fifty-eight ton metal compactor. I don't know. Let's hope he doesn't run over those naked runners. Eh? That's for sure. Uh, Quest Red, six of April, ten o'clock. A new series, if you like. Evil lives here. So there's a new series with that. One of six as well. And on to Friday. Let's see if we've got anything naked on Friday. I doubt it. Good Friday. It's not going to be. It's going to be no nudity surely on Good Friday. Probably not, or well, probably will know in this uh, how things are these days. So, Channel 5, sorry, Good Friday, 7, 7th of April, BBC One, 11.15 a.m. Yeah, this will calm you down after the naked runners. My Life at Easter with Sally Phillips. There you go. One or two actress and comedian Sally Phillips and guests discuss what Easter means to them. Eggs in it, chocolate eggs, but I know that's not the, the meaning, is it, of Easter, really? Beginning with the writer and broadcaster, Giles Brandreth. Well, I can't wait. Uh, BBC Two, 7 o'clock, Aeolo's Borderlands. Yes, one of four. Aeolo Williams explores Monmouthshire, looks for a rare bee on the Gwent levels and finds fallow deer in the White Valley. Let's, let's find the bees. 7.30, Beach Grove Garden. Carol Baxter and the team return and assess the state of the garden after winter. What they've been doing, they've just ignored it. Shocking. Nine o'clock, BBC Two. Busy night on BBC Two. Pilgrimage, the road through Portugal. This is interesting. Seven well-known personalities. Well, I don't know any of them, to be honest with you. Seven well-known personalities with differing faiths and beliefs meet in northern Portugal to begin their modern-day Catholic pilgrimage from Valencia to Fatima. They're all religions, they're not Catholics, are they? So it's just a pilgrimage. And there you go, guys, I say, an interesting mix of a week. But I suppose that's appropriate for Good Friday, isn't it, with the, the pilgrimage? That's what, that's what we all want, but uh, other people with pilgrimage... Pil pilgrimaging, but, uh, of course, uh, being very careful where they put the bits, that's for sure. Let me know what you're looking forward to, apart from the obvious. Um, be great to hear from you or any, anything you've watched recently. Just let me know. Just uh, have a chat and uh, we'll have a look at that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Say uh, an interesting week, to say the least, uh, from April Fool's Day to Good Friday. Well, who'd have, th who'd have thunk it, eh? Anyway, thanks for watching. Till me again. That's one thing, though. Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>